Hey you guys, welcome to Beyond Bliss. I am Jayashree and today I'm going to show you all my no foundation makeup routine. This is something that I prefer doing on a daily basis. Like if I'm stepping stepping out of the house. So I like doing it and if you all want to see, definitely keep watching till the end. It is very short, very quick and very easy to do. So I'm going to start up by using the Jove's Sun Defense Neem Skin Toner. Now this toner is something that I've been using for almost two years and I haven't found a replacement for it. You know, it's that good. So I prefer using this and it's very, very hydrating, moisturizing. Like sometimes if I'm very lazy to do my skincare, I just apply this and I'm good. It feels that good on my skin. Let me tell you all, I've got combination skin types. So my T-zone is oily and my cheeks are very dry. Usually I prefer doing my skincare routine as I'm out of my shower and then I prefer dressing up but for the video's sake I'm doing it ultra and my skin is feeling really dry so let's just get started so now this doesn't like the spray of it is very um like you'll get large droplets on your face not the small ones so you just a little is enough but I like to apply a lot of it too, like to never forget your neck because our neck is very delicate so when you see signs of aging it's going to start from here so you need to take care of your neck and as now I'm in my 20s and I'm going to turn 22 I am going to take care of my skin even more this is so refreshing you guys and this is very affordable i think this is for 180 only and you'll even get this on discount now for me i do not believe in expensive products or extremely cheap products any any product that has good quality ingredients in it no matter what the price I'm gonna buy it so this is completely worth it and you should you should definitely try it out perfect for girls who've got uh, like any gender who have got acne or anything like that even for men's this is even for men's this is actually very good because they didn't prefer applying anything so all the bacteria and all can be killed with just this it has got very good ingredients like neem I think it has Tulsi and also I cannot see it on the bottle. I'll list it down down below. So definitely check this product out. So now that I'm nicely refreshed, I prefer using a eye cream sometimes, not every time. So this is the Believe, Believe in Truth Moisturizing Eye Balm. Eye Balm, sorry. So I've gone cruelty free, but I'm still to go cruelty free in my skincare routine. So I'm trying, I'm looking for alternatives. So I just like to apply a little of it and jab tak ye hai, tab tak use kar lete. So I like to apply it here. Now people don't believe in applying eye creams. They're like it does it does the same job of a moisturizer. But as you'll see, some moisturizer moisturizers they say do not apply near your eye area. So for such cases, I believe that I should use eye creams because they're safer for your eyes. And then just massage it like this. Now I'm going to use the face shop. Chia Seed Advanced Vitamin B12 Hydro Lotion and it's this one. I had uh, received this in a mini form and there's a moisturizer in this as well but I prefer using the lotion because I've got oily to combination skin. So this, is, this gives me enough hydration and moisturization so I like to use this. It's very lightweight also and, give, and it has got this pink kind of tint to it so your skin looks nice and um, blush. Do it in circular, mo apply it in circular motions. I start with my cheeks because my cheeks are the driest. And my mouth, I run my mouth and then nose. And then forehead because forehead tends to get really oily if you have not washed your hair, all the greasiness and sweat falls down. And I think I need a little more. If you need more, then go ahead and use it. And just do it. Even though in the camera it's looking as if I'm just doing this, but no, I'm doing it very, very gently. You need to be very gentle. Now once I'm done applying it, remaining on my neck. And now I'm just, I like to do this. Like cross these middle finger and ring finger together. And I like to dab it. and always massage your face upwards. You should always give your products a minute or few seconds to settle in 
and now that my face is nicely moisturized you can see it's nice and glowy I'm going to move on with my sunscreen which fell down before let me get it for my sunscreen I like to use the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock SPF 50 now guys this is a very very good sunscreen but Neutrogena is not a cruelty free brand so I'm going to use this till I find a good alternative because after trying so many sunscreens the lotus one is also good but it contains parabens so after searching so much I had found this but now to go cruelty free I'll have to search for another sunscreen that will work for me but now there's a lot of this left so I'm just going to use this only I really really love this so it does have a little bit of white cast but it's okay it's bearable and also guys this does feel a little sticky on your face even though they say it's lightweight it is lightweight but it's tacky so that's what's going to help me apply the rest of the products on my face I applied this on my eyes as well. I haven't noticed any kind of irritation. I've been using this sunscreen for a year at least. And since I started using sunscreen, my skin has improved so much, you guys. It has reversed the damage. Because my skin wasn't getting any external damage, um, all the, my skin got time to heal because there was no external damage coming on onto my skin. So you can see it blended instantly. That's why I like to do my skincare first because you need to wait for like 20 to 30 minutes when you apply this inside your house and then step out. It's okay, sometimes when I'm in a rush or in a hurry, I just apply it and step out. So it's completely fine. It's going to work best if it gets because sunscreens are so thick in consistency that's why they come last in your skincare routine because they take a lot of time to get sucked in and then if you are using all creamy products before this then it's going to take even more time so what i use are all gel form and liquidy form and water form so it gets soaked in very easily and faster I like to apply more on my forehead like in this much of area because whenever we girls wear scarves or anything our scarf it lifts up and this portion is always always visible even if you wear glasses we are wearing UV filter glasses and all then also this section is always visible and exposed to the sun so it's better to apply more on the upper part of your face you see really most of us have got darker foreheads is because of that now for the next step, I'm going to use a concealer and this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in the shade Fawn. Now concealer I do not prefer using every time. If, if I'm going for somebody's birthday party or something like that, if I'm just going for a good occasion, then only I prefer applying concealer. Otherwise I'll just apply the loose powder which is the next step after this and then I'm good to go. So I'm just, just for this video sake, I'm going to show it to you all how I like to do it. So I apply concealer over here. Now this is a warm toned concealer. This is not my shade. It has got that orange tint to it which helps me cover up all the blemishes, darkness and everything like that. See I've got boils over here, so like marks over here around my nose and around my mouth because I get pigmentation over there blend it with a beauty blender and for this it's okay if you don't blend it down till your neck because your neck doesn't have any uneven skin so as you can see mine is like pretty same so I don't need this and if you would have applied a foundation then you would have had to apply it on your neck as well for this you do not have to. Now I'm going to use the K-Beauty Loose Powder and this is in the shade Olive. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. If you want to bake, you can bake. But as we have applied only concealer, I suggest do not bake it because it will crease by the end of the day I tried it. So it's just better to just go all over your face with this.
as you guys can see it gives us such a nice even toned finish with just minimum products literally that was all and you're good to go the entire day so if you want to add blush add some blush otherwise you can just end here apply your eyeliner or lipstick and you're good to go or whatever you like you can end this here as well so i just like to use this blush from keiko milano I have found my favorite bronzer you guys this is from the body shop in the shade warm glow this is so beautiful i like to use it as my highlighter and look at this it's so pretty it has got pinkish golden brown warm tone color in it and it's so stunning you guys it gives me the most subtle and natural glow so it's like when you apply highlighters it's like a patch but with this just look at it Look at this. How stunning is this? And because it is kind of brownish in color, it's perfect. Look at that. Oh my god. I like to apply it with my finger itself. And just very little. But I love this. I'm using this literally regularly. A little on my eyes. A little bit of shine. Put it on your nose. See, look at that. How stunning. This is stunning, you guys. Literally so stunning. Applied here. Now to set all of this up, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray. And shake it. This is the mini one. Where is it? So for my brows, I don't do my brows, so I just like to brush them upwards. If there is any sort of residue left on my eyelashes or on my eyebrows, I like to just wipe it off with a cotton pad. If you want to use a mascara, go ahead and use that. Now I'm going to use the Jove's lip balm. Now this is such a great lip balm you guys. And it has that tingling sensation to it which makes your lips look nice and plump. The Madini Lip Crayon in the shade Rom-Com. This is my favorite lip crayon you guys. First a little. And this Mamet. So this is the finished look you guys, as you can see it looks so natural and it feels so lightweight, trust me if you try this it's going to look amazing and if you try it out trust me it's very quick to do as well, just because I was stalking it took me time but otherwise oh my god look at this. I like it, I love doing this. It gives me such a natural finish and it's not too much at all. If you're a girl who doesn't like to apply foundation because you feel like if you wear foundation and you step out and people are going to be like, oh, she has applied something, she has cake on her face, then this is an amazing idea. You can definitely try this out. I love it. Now I know why people are like, oh, we need concealer in our life. We need concealer because this is it. It looks good. It looks very good <laughs> so yeah guys that was all for today's video if you like it definitely give it a big thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel it's my birthday week and please do this favor for me and subscribe thank you so much for watching see you until next time